This movie will give you an overview of the VAA title block tool and also the revise issue print command. These two items together allow you to manage title blocks on your drawings, to enter issues and revisions, to create a transmittal and really do all of the things that you need to do to manage uh, a set of drawings. The title block tool exists in the DIMS notes toolset for the landmark machine design and spotlight workspaces or in the annotations toolset for the architect workspace. To place a title block you simply select the tool and double click on the drawing. The first time you place a title block the object properties dialog will open and here you can choose the base symbol that you want to use for the title block. The base symbol comes from a symbol definition file that can reside on your computer or on the server and it can have any number of title blocks in it. These can have any name that you like and you can either create your own or customize some of the ones we've already created. This file also holds the uh, VAA transmittal and the same folder on your hard drive also contains the North Point. Clicking this button here allows you to add a North Point to one or more title blocks. Again, these are symbol based and you can either use one of our ones, customize it or make your own. Once you have a title block on the drawing, the attributes can be edited in the object info palette. The general information in the title block can be edited by double clicking the title block or by clicking the edit title block text button. Here you can enter the drawing information that is specific to each title block, the project information that is common to all title blocks in this drawing, revisions and issues. There are various settings for how these work and we'll look at all of that in another movie. You can set the position of the title block. You can set borders, whether it has crop marks. Use this to set whether it has a border or not. You can add fold marks. You can scale the title block up or down if you need to make it a little bit bigger or smaller and you can add stamps to title blocks common uh, with common information on them or, or uh, a custom one. The revise issue print command is in the file menu and this allows you to see all of the title blocks in this particular drawing and it gives you their drawing name and drawing number and here you can enter revisions or issues for the title blocks that have a tick mark or a check in this column here. You can unmark them all, turn them all on. If you've just done a revision today, you can just get it to issue uh, or to check today's revision or issue. Here you can also add a drawing stamp to all of the selected title blocks as I showed you a moment ago. This is also where you can update the transmittal. The transmittal again is fully customizable. It exists on its own sheet layer and you'll see that it lists the sheet number, sheet title, size, revision, date, who it was issued by and also down the bottom you've got the distribution details. So all in all the title block tool and the revise issue print command can manage all of your drawing issues, revisions, transmittals and printing.